There is not a shadow of doubt in my mind that the Travis Scott concert was a ritual. For those that have studied the roots and the foundation of the Hollywood culture, this is easy to see. But for those that haven't, you might not know that this was actually a ritual. I mean, I'm not here to prove it. I'm just here to show you some pictures and some airy videos and you can decide for yourself. Firstly, for those that were at the event, reported seeing this picture, see you on the other side, all over the event. And the stage is literally designed to put you in a hypnotic trance. You can see the rings around the stage. I mean, it's no different than mainstream media news backgrounds. It is designed to put you in a trance. Travis Scott released two songs with this cover on the same day eight people died at his concert. And the definition of dystopia is an imagined state or society in which there is a great suffering or injustice, typically one that is totalitarian or post-apocalyptic. I mean, do I really need to say much more than that? Gematria is the association between the alphabet, letters and numbers. It is ultimately the language of the cabal. It's where we associate numbers with words. And so when you put in the Gematria calculator the word sacrifice, Astro World, which was the name of his concert, Houston, Texas, which was the location, you get exactly the same reductions. This is not a coincidence. This is how the cabal and the hidden hand in Hollywood actually work and operate. Now I'm going to show a clip of Drake and Travis Scott singing. Pay attention to the words in which they're saying. Above is the picture of Travis Scott's astral world, everyone seemingly entering his mouth, and below is a picture of Hieronymus's painting of Christ in Limbo, which is a depiction of purgatory, aka Christian hell. I mean, do you notice anything similar? I mean, if that's all not trippy and weird enough for you, check out Travis Scott continuing to sing as almost as if he's possessed while all of this is going on, whilst people are literally falling and uh, being taken. We are all entitled to our own opinions. I just want to say, as this final message, be cautious and be careful what you're listening to and what you're giving your attention to. Where your focus goes, your energy flows. Do not feed into the satanic, luciferian system. There is some beautiful music and beautiful experiences to have in this world. Let's focus on that. That way these systems with evil roots will no 